Hi, welcome back to Once More Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we're doing an unboxing of Heroes of Normandy, Battle for Kine, Windsor, and Jupiter. This is Battle Pack 3 in the Heroes of Normandy um, uh, World War II Big Red 1 uh, edition. Uh, this is an expansion. You will need the base game uh, for Big Red 1. Uh, and the good news is that this will play solo if you have the solo system for Heroes of Normandy. So um, let's crack it open, see what you get inside. So I believe for the Big Red One series, the, uh, the first expansion was Bloody Omaha, and then we had another battle, Battle for Kine, um, uh, Battle Pack 2, and then this is Battle Pack 3. Big box, big heavy box. What do we have in here? We have a sheet of stickers. If you're using the uh, Heroes of World War II storage box system, they've given you stickers for the units that are gonna be in here. We have supplemental cards to go with the into your German deck. Looks like it's all just German cards for the German player to give them some additional abilities. Yeah, so these are marked, uh, so there's like six, well, let's see. Oh, <laughs> I see what I'm doing. There's six, but they're, they come with six French cards and six English cards. So you'll pick the ones that you want. But we'll, for the sake of this channel, we'll look at the English cards here. But uh, Deutschland überall, Germany overall. Play when one of your infantry units suffers a hit or would be destroyed by firing action. Ignore that hit card cannot be used during an assault. So it's just uh, some supplemental cards to, uh, to help with your play. Six French, six in English. We've got a small sheet of counters. We've got a uh, spirit supplementary token and an STG 44. Then we have our Windsor and Jupiter Battle Pack 3 rule book. Also, it looks like in French and English. So whereas other battle packs have been only in a single language, this one is, is dual language. So we will look at the, the, we'll assume the French one's the same, and we will look at the English. It is a shorter book. It's a short book. It's about 20 pages. Full color. Covers the rules. Uh, any special terrain effects, charge, defender, substitute. These are special abilities, some recruitment options that are in, in the game. And then we have uh, scenarios. Um, they're all good for one to one to two players, although the Welcome to Kane Carpique, Carpique is one of three players, but they all will play with a solo system. So we have one standalone scenario leaving on a jet plane, and then uh, we have a mini campaign of four scenarios. So that is cool. And it says the Heroes of Normandy solo mode expansion is required for games in solo mode. So again, you don't have solo built into this, but it does work with the solo mode if you own that. And we covered that on the channel, so if you want to take a look at it, look in the videos. All right, Operation Windsor and Jupiter, a little history here. And then rules for the battlefield, your lines, and then defensive ob obstacles. We have barbed hedgehogs, trenches, grenades and trenches, how they work, foxholes. Some new character traits, ferocious, hardened, you have reconnaissance gear, ammo, additional shielding, fuel. Um, orders of the Spirit allows you to add three or six SS action cards to your action cards deck. So SS Spirit. Go SS. Said no one since 1945. All right, so then you get right into the scenarios, how to set them up, any, any changes you need to do for solo mode. Uh, in fact, in this one, the AI cannot play the German side. So if you're gonna play this one, you play the Germans and the AI has to play the, the allies. Or the common, in the Commonwealth side. So in the second scenario, in the campaign, the AI cannot play the Commonwealth side. In scenario, in this scenario, the AI can play either side. So it gives you the instructions for that. 
So those are those scenarios built in. It looks like we've got some more here on cardstock. We have to the rescue, the scenario, and the AI cannot play this scenario. So tough on you. It tells you how to set it up, the, your army structures, victory conditions and preparations. That's one. It's a plane, it's a plane, it's plain, it's a plane. Right, and solo mode can play either side of this one. Again, tells you how to set up which boards to use and the composition of the armies. So, these are nice, these are extra, these are on you know, glossy cardstock, A3 size. And then we have this one is in, um, let's see, that's to the rescue. And then some of these are in French, but I'm not seeing a comp Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, good, good, good. They just got out of order here. As I was seeing, I could read my, my French is not good, but I could read LOL in Normandy and may figure out what that meant, but everything was in French, but here's the LOL in Normandy English version. So this one also is not solo friendly. And this is a two armies, four commanders, two objectives, zero justification. It's a huge, huge map. I mean, it looks like it's got some supplemental tiles between the large tiles. So it's about nine by nine, plus some, some uh, gutters between them. So, wow, pretty cool. How to set it up, preparation, victory conditions, etc. And you have four armies, so you could play with two, you know, and, and each control. All right, so that is the three in English, and then of course the same three are in French. All right, so these punch boards have, so this is punch board three. No, it's punch board six, excuse me. So I'm misreading their, uh, their shorthand. So we have partial buildings. We have modular buildings as introduced in Battle Pack 2. So you see, as you see here, this building doesn't have a sidewall. So it extends another building or goes as an overlay to a building. So it could be partly destroyed or partly intact. In fact, when you see this one on the reverse side, it's destroyed. So, and then we've got these other tiles here that give us roads. And that's where we're seeing the gutters between some of the bigger tiles. So here's like a, a street or a dirt road. And there's a grassy area with a little uh, entrenchment built into it. They keep innovating the system. This, the system's been around since I think 2014, and they just keep improving on it. So we got a big crater here. You flip it over, and then we got the grass. We got a paved road, destroyed half buildings. So that's number six, number five. Again, some half buildings. So they're modular. You put them together. We got some troops thrown in here. Fire groups. Got a pilot. Mines, minin, not urine, minin. Some square, you know, gutters. I call them gutters because they're going between the main boards, but you, you know what I mean there. And then like a large building, there's the opposite side. So we've got some, again, some uh, paved roads. And now we're getting to Some more units. A reconnaissance squadron. Leo Major. Not Lee Majors, but Leo Major. Rambo from Quebec. <laughs> We've got a Bofors 40 millimeter. Got some half tracks. Support teams. Humber ACs. Command Humbers. Six pounder anti tank guns. Reconnaissance team, reconnaissance piats, reconnaissance brins. Got some life points, tactical maps, charge. Sheet three. We got our Germans. Division Stab, Obersturmbahn for Kurt Meyer. We got a grenade maniac, Oros Snoot. Get a grenade maniac. Command groups, assault groups, Mueller, Mueller, Mueller. Sheet 
do. Oh, I guess we got an airplane. Well, we got we got everything just like pre-punching here. This one fell out. It's a room. Destroyed room on the other side. And we got an airplane. The Messerschmitt BF 109 coming into play. And then we've got speed indicators. We've got the pilot, another pilot token. Field Command Brigadier Hubert Assame. Duke of Cornwall's Light Infantry. Let's go back in here for safekeeping. Again. And sheet one, we got another plane. Okay, we've got Hauptmann Willie Harold. NG42, some supplemental counters here. We got the Jaeger Regiment, Luftwaffen Feld Division, fire groups. Got a flat gun, an 80 millimeter flat gun you can attack. The opposite of that is an 80 millimeter flat gun. So that's pretty cool. Same thing. And the plane is destroyed on the other side. Kaboom. All right. And it looks like we got six terrain boards as well. Take a look at those. Got a big crater on this one. It's number six. And then a forest. Number five. A little plaza area here with some grass around it. And the opposite of another forest. It looks like some destroyed buildings. Some entrenchments, maybe. And we got a big fixed building here. It's like a, like a Quonset hut kind of thing. It's got corrugated walls, as you can see, with terrain behind it. You got one entryway here. And then grassy area on the back. Some bocage. Another building. Same thing, entryway here. This is number three. Number two. Well, no, this is number one. So that got out of order. Number one, got a couple of craters in plaza area, impassable area, looks like a propane tank. And finally, got a small bunker with a supply, looks like an underground supply room. You get to only end up through the building. And on the opposite side, again, some more outdoor terrain. So if you pick up a copy of Heroes of Normandy Battle Pack 3, the Battle of Kine, uh, you are going to get those six terrain boards that we just took a look at. You're gonna get six punch boards of new counters and units and commands and bonuses and treasures. You're gonna get three bonus scenarios on nice cardstock. Uh, three total, three in French, three in English. You're gonna get that 20 page rule book in English and in French. You're gonna get six new cards for the German player. Six in English, six in French. There's a pattern here. You're gonna get a bonus little token here of a punch of an SDG 44 and the spirit, uh, SS spirit card, or uh, bonus, excuse me, and a sheet of stickers to go on the storage system if you're using that. And that is everything that comes in Battle Pack 3 for Heroes of Normandy, the Battle for Kine, Windsor and Jupiter from Devil Pick Games. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!